Hi everyone! For today's video, I'm doing my annual Lolita year in review video for 2022. I'm going to be using the same questions that I used for the previous year, so let's get started with the first question, and that is, how was your Lolita year? I like to think that my Lolita year was pretty good. I wore Lolita quite often. However, I didn't document everything as well as I'd like. So there are a couple coordinates that I didn't take photos of. And that's really a lesson I've learned this year is that I don't have to share everything on the internet. There is value in keeping things to myself and keeping it personal. And sometimes by not sharing, it is better for my mental health. All right, question two is what are your favorite coordinates? I'll share with you some of my favorite coordinates that I've shared on Instagram this year. And here they are. Third question is, what were your favorite events slash memories in Lolita last year? I didn't host a lot of meetups this year, but I did host the Winter International Lolita Day meetup in Calgary. It's definitely one of my favorite meetups that has happened this year in terms of how easily it came together. And I think one that has the most memories for me is hanging out with Alyssa. It was our old school meetup where we twinned Dessert OP. And I believe it was one of the last meetups that we had together because Alyssa has moved now. So I think finally back on that meetup. Do you have a favorite purchase from last year? So I didn't purchase a lot from Lolita Brands this past year, however, I did receive all of my Baby the Starshine Bright Goods for the past two years, and I gotta say my favorite purchase from that big haul was all of the Usakumya clothes that I purchased. Literally, my Usakumya now has at least five different outfits that they can change in and out of, and I'm really thinking that I have to make a little wardrobe for them to really showcase all of the Usakumya clothes. The next question is, was there a specific release from a brand that was your absolute favorite? I'm going to do a separate video for this question, but I wanted to share one of my favorite releases that I won't be sharing in that video, and that is the Kumia's Floating Tea Party series from Baby the Star Shine Bright. I have the Usa Kumia clothes for the series, and seeing that has made me add this dress higher on my wish list. It is so cute, plus it's cotton, and I love all of the Usa Kumia's and Kumo Kumia's that are on this print. So I think I'm going to be searching for this series a little bit more seriously this year, and I'll also let you know what other series I'll be searching for as well in my future favorite releases from brands in 2022 video. Did you have any goals or resolutions from 2022 that you achieved? My two goals from last year were to purchase more accessories and secondary supporting pieces, as well as to continue to create content consistently. And I would have to say I'm probably about half and half for both of these goals. They were half achieved, but weren't really fully achieved in my own mind. For the accessories and secondary pieces, I did purchase quite a few. However, I find that my hand is still reaching for the same necklaces, rings, bracelets, and I think that's really interesting because despite purchasing more, it does not necessarily mean that these new items will become a favorite item and one that I consistently use. So I think my current accessory collection is good for where it's at, and I'll be adding things interspersedly throughout there, but it's not a big priority as it was at the beginning of 2022. As for the second goal of creating more consistent content, I was really good until about June, and then after that, it was, you know, summer holidays and life got busy. So I wasn't able to keep a one video a week schedule, but I still created 64 videos this past year, which was two more than in 2021. I think that's pretty cool and amazing. And here's to hoping that I can be a little bit more consistent this year. And with that, we're going to move on to the last question, which is what are your goals and aspirations for 2023? So my goal for this year is to, once again, try to create a consistent schedule for my Lolita content. I think I'm at a good place in terms of time management and planning wise that I think this might be feasible for this year, but I'm not going to hold myself to a super high standard. And if I miss my self post deadlines, that's completely fine. It's better to live life and release a video at a later point in time than to stress myself out over missing a deadline. And then the only other goal that I have for this year is to go solo traveling in Lolita. 
Lolita. I haven't gone on a solo Lolita travel trip since Paradiso in 2019. So I am itching to get out there and travel in Lolita. And I think this year is going to be that year. I hope to have at least one trip done and planning a trip is already a big task, but wearing Lolita and filming it on top of that makes it a little bit more monumental. So that is my big goal that I'm going to try to reach for the end of this year. Other than that, thank you so much for watching my content this past year. I really enjoyed reading all the comments as well as the interaction with the Lolita fashion community. Let me know if you have any Lolita goals or resolutions for this year. I'd love to hear all about it in the comment section down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!